Hey everybody, I have a special treat for you today. Uh, today uh, we're going to do some instruction with my instructor, six degree black belt, Julio Fernandez. And well, Anthony, I play Jiu Jitsu all way in New York. You gotta go and train here. BJJ Revolution, I'm a black belt in the Castle Basis Senior, training Jiu Jitsu since 1975, compete all over the place. I'm here today to share some of the techniques with you, good information. I hope you guys like it. BJJ Revolution. Atlas Jiu Jitsu presents the Technique of the Week with Julio Foca Fernandez and Edward Anthony. Okay, guys, we're in a position here, butterfly guard. Uh, anybody can go butterfly guard. Just to have to have the mechanics, and then I can, you know, do the stuff, uh, you know, uh, under control. Slow first, and then you start to speed up. That's a kind of a, you can get the technique working against a resisting partner. See, I'm here on my butterfly guard, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my hand inside my 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 knee. That I, you know, if you push my knee uh, inside, I still have control on him. A lot of times, the guy's not gonna put their hand close to you because uh, you can flip it. You know, I can rotate with him, reverse him. He puts the hand on the floor. See, right now, hard for me to grab the hand. It's giving me a chance to set up him in a submission. See, the foot that's inside, you know, my feet is inside, I'm gonna bring one on his hip, you know? And uh, my hand on the floor, you're gonna help me to lift my body, see it? Well, I wanna set up a triangle on him. What I'm gonna do, I let him go the belt, control his shoulder, that the arm is gonna be there. See, it? foot on the hips, foot on the floor, I can lift my body, Throw the leg over, go on your back, triangle choke. I like to have the ceiling to the, the foot to the ceiling, toe point to the ceiling, squeezing my knees. Here, yeah. that's it. That's the triangle choke in there. It is your revolution. And now it's time for Ask Julio. So uh, Joe Curry wanted to know what it was like to get your black belt, and if you made a speech, and if you made a speech, what you said when you got your black belt. Yeah, I was, uh, you know, uh, I'm a black belt in the Carson Gracie Senior. Yeah, not too many Carson Gracie Senior black belt around. And Carson did not want a, a lot of black belts. You know, the list of Carson Gracie black belts you can see on his website. You can Google that, Carson Gracie black belts, and I'm gonna give you the list. Uh, you know, when I received uh, my, my black belt, uh, first of all, I was honored because, you know, not many people have a Carson Gracie black belt. Uh, Carson was a legend. You know, but at the same time, I was uh, worried and scared. Worried because, uh, you know, I have to perform a higher level, you know. I'm a Carson Gracie black belt. You know, I felt that uh, uh, I was worried too because, uh, you know, uh, on top of perform like that, I had to win, you know. Uh, Carson's motto was win always, you know. Uh, Carson is the guy who started the Champions Factory, you know. And uh, that's the kind of stuff that puts a lot of pressure on your shoulder. Uh, and, uh, you know, like I said, I felt uh, that I, I was honored by, you know, receiving that rank. But at the same time, I was uh, worried because uh, it was a lot of responsibility. That's the way I would respond to that question. Did you make a speech after you got it or did... Uh... No, there was no speech. Uh, Carson uh, didn't... You see, nowadays we have uh, seminars, we have uh, people in formation here by ranks. And then we call the guy in front and you give a black belt or a blue belt or purple belt, whatever. But the Carson uh, was a little different. On that time, uh, back in the day, he used to be personal. He used to come to you and uh, tell you that, well, uh, the next time you have a black belt or, uh, or blue belt, and he, he tell you that, uh, you know, you, you promote it, you know. Here and there, he used to post something in the window of his office, you know, uh, with the belt ranks there, people promoted. I saw that a couple of times, two or three times, 
But uh, he usually he comes to you and say that uh, you know you've been promoted. That was the way he was uh, more personal than uh, you know having like a seminar or you know different formation inside the school. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, I still have the certificate, 1988. That's when I got my black belt. This has been brought to you by BJJ Revolution Team, Atlas Jiu Jitsu, Edward Anthony Fitness combat skin, and it's a revolution! Oh.